Hey guys, this is Andrew Flair here. Got a uh, Stanley Jigs unboxing. I uh, just joined onto their junior pro staff. I've been sent some sample packs in the past, and then they finally asked if I was 16. I said yes, and they sent it in for review, and I got it. Um, this is the initial order. $100 for free is what the deal is, and then uh, I get 40% off the additional. Anything else I want, I guess. So I got to pick out $99 or worth of stuff. Um, that I w wanted, wanted to try, and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll start off two patches that you can either sew on to your jersey or glue on to something, and a couple more of these big stickers, Stanleys. Those over there. To start off, I got three spinner base of theirs. I got a, two Viber shafts, one in white and chartreuse, and with a little bit of blue flash in it, and one in blue and white. And then I got one Wedge Plus and like a like a bronze colored, like a bluegillish. And these are all 3 8 ounce, I believe. Yep. There's those for spinner baits. Here are fluke style baits. These are egretbaits.com. They just must work with Stanley, I'm guessing. Uh, these are watermelon red flake. Take them out. They do look a little bit different than the zooms. Their tail's a little bit bigger. And what I've noticed with the bigger tails is it has a slower fall rate as well as not such erratic action so if you're looking to twitch it real quick then I would trim these up otherwise you can leave them like this the one thing that's different between these and zooms is the the plastic super like it's not stretchy but it's 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 a lot harder um, it's a, it feels a ton more durable but it just doesn't feel like it can rip like the zooms will so there's that I believe there's 10 in this pack here are the another soft plastic these are the side winders uh, mainly what I'm going to be using these for is shaky head and wacky worm. Shaky heads because they have a rattle chamber inside of them. I'll show you those. I already have a few packs of these in different colors. But here, you can listen. It's, it's ho hollow inside. Uh, and they hollowed that out so you can stick a rattle in there. And on shaky head, going like this, um, you should be able to, I mean, I don't know if this will float just because of the weight of the rattle, but even if you don't, when you hop it and it's on the bottom, that rattle should be going. Um, also, wacky rigged, and like that, the rattle should be clacking together. So, there's that. You can also dye, dye the rattle chamber chartreuse if you wanted to get a little more color out of it. You can do that as well. Here are some double take frog hooks. I have used these before on like the actual ribbits from Stanley before I got sponsored by him um, using them. Uh, these are the best. If you like ribbits, you need these. Trust me, they're not. I use these before. I'm, I'm not saying it because I'm sponsored by them. You do need these. You just use regular EWGs. They roll over when you're burning in the ribbit. These will not roll over. I'm telling you, if you do use ribbits, I, I'm not saying it's because I work with them now. I do promise that you will need these. So go check them out. I'll take them out of the package just to show you. Um, but the difference is, is between just like a regular EWG, is these have two hooks, which balances it versus just one. So it has a little more balance in it. Your hookups are going to be tremendously better. I mean, it's two to one. Um, and uh, these are these are actually four aughts. They sell them weighted as well. If you were wanting to use them for something different, or if you wanted your frog to swim under the water. But like I said, these do help so much if you are a, a ribbit fan or a top toad fan or any other type of um, top water like buzzing frog lures. You do need those for sure. Got two frogs here. Top toads. I've never used these before. And I wish I, had, I wish I would have ordered more and just not ordered something else because these things are absolutely sick. I, I mean, I just, I just didn't really know what they really were. So um, I only ordered two packs and one in black and then one in like a bullfrog color. But I mean, they have the ribbit kicking tails, which I've caught plenty of fish on the ribbit. But these have a hollow belly or hollow body, just like a regular frog. They'll float. So if you like ribbits and you like normal frogs, this is what you need because. I'll tell you how a rivet works. It's just a solid piece of plastic, and you're reeling it in, reeling it in, and it's going blah, 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 like a buzz bait up on top. But as soon as a bass strikes, like behind it, you can't just stop it and twitch it like you can a top water frog. You have to, it, I mean, it sinks. These will float, so you're you're buzzing it just like a buzz bait. When one blows on it, you can stop it. This thing will float, and then you can kind of buzz it and stop it. Buzz it, stop it, and you'll get a lot more fish. If you miss strikes, you'll definitely be able to come back and hook them up.
Um, when you order them, one comes hooked up with a double tick, one doesn't. So I got two packs of these so I could hook them up. But you can see, the, look at the hook up ratio on this. When, when the frog gets pressed down just a little bit, look how far out those hooks stay. I mean, they're sticky sharp too. Um, you're not going to miss any hook sets. Bass comes from behind. All he has to do is just press this down a little bit. See how much exposed those are. So, great hookup ratio you'll have on these. Got them in two colors, like I said. If I would have known how cool these were and how well they will work, I probably would have ordered at least one more pack of them. But that doesn't mean I can't still. It's just I'll just have to pay for them. But, hey, it'll be if it catches fish, I don't really care if I have to pay for them because it's worth it. So, those two... Got two buzz baits. One of my favorite, all-time favorite lures is a buzz bait. These are the ball busters. One black and blue with a little bit of blue flash, and one in white with some red flash. Um, these I I read a little bit on the back. It looked like they were like somehow tunable. Um, it says if to, to tune the blade, as you can adjust the amount of strikes on the balls by bending the wire. So if you bend the wire up, I think it should hit the balls less, and if you bend it down, it should hit the balls a lot. So um, I throw a non-clacking buzz bait most of the time. Sometimes in dirty water, you want a clacking. So this way you can tune it. You do, you can you get best of both worlds in one buzz bait. They're a little bit smaller profile, um, but that doesn't mean anything that bad. And I'll open them up and show you that the flat head, what, what is good about these. These, these are just like the war eagles. Um, they have a flat head right here. So they don't, it, it acts like a rock. If you skip a rock over water, it's flat. So it, it sits on the water a lot better. It won't dive down and you can roll these a lot slower. You can sit there and just slowly roll them without this sinking. And when you cast in the sinks, you can bring it to the top quicker without it having to like drag through the water and then come up to the top. So that is just like that, just like skipping a rock. I mean, it, it comes up to the water and it'll stay on top of the water a lot better than something circular shaped. So there's that. Stick this back in here. I got two of them. That's my main color, but I use these every once in a while as well. Alright, I got... Let's see how many jigs I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight jigs. I'm a big jig fan. So we'll start off with this. This thing is really cool. It's a wedge jig. Wedge head, wedge head jig. It's a one in one quarter ounce um it's actually just um lead so it's not tungsten or anything so it's a big bulky head but it's made for punching so i'll take it out and just look at it so you can see the hook the hook is completely free from the head and you just tie on there you launch it up and your bait will be back behind it and it'll punch when it punches, instead of it just standing up or laying down with this with this rotisserie hook on it, this thing will lay to the bottom and your plastic will float because it's it's just a floating it's just a hook. So if your soft plastic can float, it'll float the hook. So while this is laying on the bottom and the skirt's all flared out, this like a pit boss. I like throwing a pit boss. It'll stand up like this. You know, like a crawfish stands up and throws his pinchers everywhere at a bass. That's what it'll do. It's a lot better than your traditional punch rig. Although it is lead, so it's not a small profiled head, um, I believe the shape of it is designed where it should be able to punch through mats pretty easily. Um, if you notice on Stanley's, they have this that bright colored hair, it's like hair jig material. That is kind of a signature in Stanley's. They have them in the spinner baits, they have them in the jigs. It gives a lot more flash when the sunlight hits it, it flashes a lot better. Um, more realistic profile as far as... Um, as far as just like the bulk of it and just attracting attracting bites, um, I've my one of my friends he hand ties jigs and he he always throws these on there just because they they have more lifelike action underwater, more natural looking um, and cool cool looking bait as well. So I have that. I got only got one of them just to test out, but I'll for sure get some more after looking at these. So there's that one. I got two finesse ones. I already have a couple of these. I love them. If um in late fall, early spring, and even winter fishing, and I'm in Nebraska, winter fishing sucks because it's cold. But these do work as well. Pull these out. They're they already come with the trailer on them. You don't have to worry about buying no small trailers or anything. They're already pull them out of the package. They're ready to go. So you have the weed guard, of course. And then you have the little small light wire hook. But then it's got these the craw with the pinchers that glow. 
and it's got the little finesse type with the little flash on it. So I throw these just like a football head in the winter. You just you know you just drag them along, but I mean it's a real small profile. You can even just, you can even trim it up even some more. There's that one I have it in crawdad as well. And I got some jigs here. They did send some in this package for some reason. Maybe they just didn't have packaging on some of them, but there's a few in here. Okay, so this one is a 3 8 I believe. That's like an orange, orange colored. And then here is a 3 quarter ounce. Um, I'm using this as a, I'll pretty much use it as a football head, even though it's not a football head, but just, you know, just dragging it on the bottom. I might even do a little bit of punching, depending how sparse the grass is that'll be thrown in. But there's that one, pretty heavy duty weed garden hook on it. And there's these as well. I won't take these out of the package just because I don't think you really need to. They're all the same size as this, just different color. That's like an amber brown color. That's, that's uh, like, I don't know, like a pumpkin and orange flake in it. And here's got a little bit of chartreuse in it and then some black and blue. So that's what I got. As you guys can see, um, got all this stuff. I'm glad to be working with them. They're a well-known company where I'm from. I mean, a lot of pros use them. They're very well known, um, and I'm glad to be working with them. Glad to help them out. They are some. They, I've been using these things since I was a kid. These are like the spinner baits, for instance, are the ones I learned how to throw a spinner bait on. My dad's been a big fan of them. Um, they have real quality baits. Their jigs are nice. They just have the re regular bristle bundles in them. Buzz baits. I'm excited to test these. I'm excited to test for sure. I've used these before, like I said, these are a necessity. Soft plastics and flukes, of course, I'm a huge fluke fisherman after I caught that six pounder on it. Um, and spinner baits are always a go-to. So there's my unboxing for you guys. Definitely go check out Stanley. Like I said, these are great, great lures. Not just saying that because I'm on the pro staff. Um, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm dropping people on my sponsor sponsors list and gaining people that I actually like to use. I'm not... A tip for you guys to get sponsors, I know it's like, it's nice to say you're sponsored by someone that makes you look professional, but don't get sponsored by someone that you don't like their lures just because you want to be sponsored. It's not worth it. I went through it, and I, it's just not a good deal. You want to start off using lures you like, just like these. I love these. I love all my sponsors. New Tech, Stanford, all of them. I love them. I love using their products, Rod Gloves. So go, go ask around. If they say no, then work on it. Go work fishing tournaments. Go work on your YouTube. Go make quality videos. Do something and then ask them in a year. That's how you have to do it, guys. Thanks for watching.